Hi, I'm Sarah. Welcome to The Daily English Show. A couple of weeks ago, there was a tornado here in New Zealand. I didn't see it because it was in Tauranga, which is a city a couple of hours south of here. South? Maybe east. Maybe southeast. Anyway, I was looking at a video of some of the damage on the New Zealand Herald site and I noticed a couple of mistakes in the video. This is what's written at the start of the video. Aerial view of the damage caused by last night's tornado. Can you spot the mistakes? Firstly, there should be an apostrophe there and tornado should be spelt T-O-R-N-A-D-O. Today's site is Word Generator. This site suggests words for you depending on the category you choose. For example, if you can't think of the right adjective to use in your sentence, you can go to the Adjective Generator and click on Generate Adjectives and keep clicking until you find that perfect adjective to use in your sentence. They also have a Charades Generator that suggests topics you can use when playing charades. Have you ever played charades? I think charades is a fun game and it can be good for language learning too. There are a few rules to charades like you're not allowed to speak, but they're pretty easy to learn. Let's play a quick game now. TV. Two words. First word. Throw. Snap. Break. Second word. Sunglasses. Cool. Second word sounds like crying, sobbing, upset, sad, sad. Sounds like sad, um, dad, red, bad. Break. Breaking Bad. Kia ora in Stick News today. A man started moving after he'd been pronounced dead. Last week in Milwaukee in the United States, a woman called the police because she hadn't been able to contact her boyfriend for two days and was worried. An officer entered the man's apartment with the building manager and saw that he had collapsed. When paramedics arrived, they said they found the man cold to the touch and in rigour. They pronounced him dead and called his brother to inform him of the death. But as they were preparing to take the body to the morgue, the man began to move. So they sent him to hospital instead. And that was Stick News for Wednesday the 27th of May. Kia ora. Today's word is flippant. This is a word that came up on the random adjective generator. Flippant is a word that you can use to describe things like a comment, a remark, an answer, an attitude. Flippant means not showing a serious or respectful attitude. A long time ago when some poor people were starving because they didn't have any bread to eat, a princess flippantly said, let them eat cake. Have you heard that quote before? And do you know which language the original quote is in? What are the rules of charades? No one can speak. What if someone acts out something that you haven't heard of? Well, the main one is that you can't speak. No, I mean the person acting out the thing. Everyone else can speak. 
what else? Um, there are some gestures that have special meanings, like this means, sounds like. Well, whoever's writing the words or phrases usually tries to choose things that the people playing have probably heard of. So if you're playing with young kids, then you wouldn't do Breaking Bad. You'd choose some books or shows or movies that they're familiar with. How do you spell tornado? A. T O R N A D O B T O R A N D O T O R N A D O When you play charades, you're not allowed to A. Make gestures B. Speak Speak The woman called the police because she couldn't contact A. Her boyfriend B. Paramedics. Her boyfriend. The paramedics thought A. The man was in rigor. B. The man had done rigorous exercise. The man was in rigor. The person who said let them eat cake was being A. Flippant. B. Flirtatious. Flippant. And that was The Daily English Show. Please go to thedailyenglishshow.com slash 1423 to check the script for today's show. And if you have any suggestions for the next click here, please let me know in the comments. See you tomorrow. Bye.